Michael Whelan and I am using the screen recording device from QuickTime Player and I will be talking about the program iMovie 2011 today which can be used on most Apple products. The title of the program basically gives away gives it away of what it does. It gives the user an easier way to organize footage. We are all living in a world of technology and most everybody owns a device that can tape experiences. But some of those devices do not allow the benefit of putting certain clips in different time slots or adding a song or title under the footage. This program offers you a chance to fiddle with the colors, tints, making a particular object a different color than the previous. There are many aspects that go into the iMovie, making it very popular. You can A very cool thing you can do is you can cut clips and arrange them into different areas any way you want to make it work for you. Controlling the audio is very essential to a video and iMovie allows you to drop access background noise so the viewer can focus on what you want them to view. To spice it up, you can include effects, which could be a new voice recording, photos, or even music. iMovie is fairly inexpensive, or it's only $79 from the Apple Store. It is already incorporated into the MacBook Pro, which is very cool and convenient. Recently, I've taken an interest in filming little videos for fun and I'm very new to this program, but it really allows me to organize all the clips I have very easily. And it gives my creative juices a kick. This program is very useful in post-production. It helps give the final touches to a piece. And once it is finalized, it can be easily distributed to YouTube or a disc. I definitely recommend the product to anyone interested in filmmaking. It is perfect for those trying to get their feet wet in this profession. And also, it's great for those just wanting to make a home video more thrilling. And I want to go ahead and show some footage I took today. And show how you can manipulate different um, scenes. You can totally take one scene here, put it up, replace it with a different scene. And then you can also... That's a really bad clip. Um, I want to get... Let's see... We we'll use this guy right here. Um, you can uh, manipulate the video, which doing like different colors like this, the different color schemes, contrast, you know, the the basic stuff. And then you can also with the audio, um, you can bring it up to 100%, bring it down. You can, right here, was, as I said before, reduce the background noise. Um, and then here, if you just press the space bar right here, it allows you to view the footage coming here. You can start it and then stop it by pressing the space bar. Press it. Stop. Come here again. Double click it. Space and stop fairly fairly simple easy way to have all your footage on one area and to create a movie thanks guy that's all